Welcome back. So let's have a look at uh, MVC application. I built one. I, I, I'll show you how you build it, but I just want to give you another review before we go there to build our first application. I just want to show you once more this area right here. How do we actually get browser uh, through the MVC application and back to the browser? How do we communicate between these two? And I'm going to show you by using developer tools inside Chrome. So let's start there. I'm going to use Chrome for my applications here, uh, for my videos here. You can use any browser you want, but I'm going to use Chrome. I like the developer tools in Chrome. Firefox has the same thing, so does Edge and so does Safari. I'm just into Chrome. So here, if you press the small menu here and you can go to more tools, there's actually developer tools here. You can also press Control Shift and I, Control Shift I, and then it'll also pop up with the tool. I just pressed the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, so that will also pop up the tools and it's pretty much this you have you can go in and you can actually inspect each element and we'll do that later so I can go in here and say I just want to see this very specific element right here we'll do that later but right now the important thing I want to show is the network tab when you get into the network tab this guy might be turned on hide over you I'll just get it out of the way another thing you might experience is that your bar is shown here in this corner you can pull it down if you want to by pressing the small dots here that was a very basic introduction to the developer tools, but I want to I want to use this to show you what's actually going to happen now. Now, like I showed you in this guide here, let me go there. When I click get data, a request is actually sent, an HTTP request is sent to our MVC uh, web server application here on IIS. So let's start with IIS. As soon as you start running. I've started the debugger here inside my Visual Studio. I'll show you how. It'll actually launch an IIS Express, meaning that my computer is now a web server, a local web server, right? So that's kind of, if you look at this picture, my computer is actually this guy now. It has an ASP MVC application running locally on a web server on my machine. And the browser is actually this guy. So the browser is now going to send a request over the wire it's locally but it's kind of faking the internet so it's going to send a request over the wire and let's let me show you doing that so let me try and click a button here click i press the home button and you see a lot of things is pop up, popping up down here a lot of things we are only interested in this guy right now so let me click that guy it's sending what we call an http request with a request method of get so what's happening is it's making some kind of I call it an envelope, a, a, a piece of information, like a, um, a letter of information that I'm sending over the wire. So this is like a postman bringing a, a piece of information from my browser to the MVC application, right? So that's when I click something, all this is being sent. And right now it's being sent as a GET request. So it's this type of request, but it also have a lot of other information in there. Let me show you. It has where to send it. And right now it's going to send it to one seven two three on localhost i put in one two three four here as the port but it's sending it to this guy so it knows where to send the information it's sending a get request the stated code is okay because i got a reply and there's a lot of other headers we won't get into all of them during the course but we'll have to look at some of them here are some of the other headers um, some specification on how to accept the data and stuff like that but this is actually what we're sending to the bra uh, to the web server. So now the web server gets some information in a small envelope and he has to process it. As a default MVC application, you don't go down here, you just pull out, you create an HTML page and send that back as a response. It should have said HTML here as well because I built a response that I sent back to the browser. And how can I see that? Well, actually, Normally I'm selecting headers here, but I'll go into response instead and notice here's just some new HTML, right? So that's what the browser gets back and then it can present the page for me inside the browser. Let's try and press the about key. Boink. When I press it, information is sent from the browser again to the server. The server creates an HTML page, returns it into the browser. That's what's going on here. And you'll see, again, I get a new about response here and I can see there's a new set of information. I notice this is just HTML but you can read in here all the HTML that I can see here is actually also available down here. Like here it says home, these are all the tags you see up here. If I scroll down here's the about thing right there and here's the your application. So that's all that's going on. I'm clicking a button, I'm sending something to the server, the server replies to me gives me a new page. Clicking a new guy, clicking a new guy, 
that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to build in the first video when we make our own MVC application. But that's all that's going on. Response, uh, request response, request response, HTTP, back and forth. And uh, we'll, get, we'll dive into this in the next lessons where you try to build your first MVC application. See you next time.